Not at all. It's all definitely set up very, very nicely. And Kerry Sport is, as we know, will be hoping for a new era to begin today. But as one may be about to start, another is about to end with the departure of one of the most influential Gaelic Games voices of the last 30 years. Well, a little bit earlier on, we were across the road having a cup of tea. Up on the wall, there was a picture of some of the greats of Gaelic football. The man beside me here was one of those people pictured. Pat Spillan from Kerry. Pat, you're very, very welcome to this occasion. Well, I don't know who your idea of the man of the match is, but I know that mine is Pat Spillan. Pat Spillan! It's great to win and just tell me. I hope my mother has calmed down a little bit now and said we're all OK. What about our own man, Pat Spillane? Like I said, you can't stay out of the sun for more than 10 minutes. My arms are a little bit right at the moment. The live television, televising of games is, to, is indeed to be welcomed. Hello and welcome to the Sunday game. So, I mean, I will call a game as I see it. I think somebody's out to punish me because this is the second week in a row I've had to endure an absolutely awful load of rubbish from Ulster Championship football. There's a banner out there. Are you watching? Pat Spillane. To describe today's football, do you know what I'd describe it as? I'd call it puke football. If Tender did provincial champions, I'd be swiping right to Ulster. Sorry for being a perfectionist now, but these okay. things are important, uh, you know. Oscar Wilde said there's only one thing worse than being talked about and that's not being talked that's about. So. Here, John Casey jump in to readjust John McDermott's head a little bit. And you can talk about systems till, you, till I'm blue in the face. A couple of great examples of, of, of uh, slow waltzes and whatever like that. But it's paralysis by analysis. He'd, he'd make Michael flatly eat his hat out because this is a wonderful high leg action here. This GPS uh, bra-like garment. No, it's modern day football. Just Got wrong. Gee, that's biceps, triceps. I mean, he looks fantastic. Ooh, to paraphrase one of the Gospels, forgive him, Lord, for he knows not what he says or writes many times. That's a load of rubbish by Sean, to be quite honest. When you see another crowd acting the Q Tour and being even better at it than us, and that was Tyrone. And who else but Pat Spillane is the scorer. This game of Gaelic football has been infiltrated by a load of spoofers and bluffers. We're very happy at the moment. Do you know the word humble and Pat Spillane don't, don't fit hand in hand. <laughs> Surely one of the great footballers, ladies and gentlemen, of our time. Oh, yeah, the, facts. Facts. No, the best teams, the cream will always come to the top. The best footballers. Pat Spillane, when Kerry needed it most. Thank you very much. Well, Pat, before I ask you about that, um, Kieran has a little present for you on behalf of us all. <laughs> Well, I, I thought, Pat, we had to get a few dubs together, considering you played against the dubs, you know, throughout, and you've criticised us for many the years. Times. But what, I felt, what do you get a man that has everything, you know? And you have eight All-Irelands, nine All-Stars, you have a wonderful wife that does everything for you, yeah. you have the sea, the mountains in Kerry. Yeah. The one thing that you don't have is a five in a row jersey, so the dubs got together. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and signed it for you. We were going to get Dermot Connolly in to present it, but it wasn't available, right? But, but uh, that's just for you to put in your wallet so you can remember the dubs after your sterling career on the pitch and off it. Thank you. That's very nice, yeah. That's very nice. Well, I can't get over how unobservant you are because we... It's not small. <laughs> he didn't even see it. He didn't, <laughs> you didn't see, it. see us bring it in in the middle. I kind of forgot you even played football, but, but let alone how good you are. But from, uh, from, the, from the people in the north of the oh, country, geez. I have to say thanks for all the motivation you <laughs> gave us over the years. And we totally love to hate you, but I think we're going to miss you at the same time. So I think there's a compliment in there somewhere. Uh, do you know what I was just going to just say? Like, I, I have enjoyed, you know. Uh, I, 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 I've gone to the... I've, I've, I've gone... I haven't gone to the end of the road either. I've just gone to a turn in the road. I've just closed one chapter. And do you know what, lads? Uh, do, you know, do you remember Dame Vera Lynn had a lovely song during the war years? We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again it's some sunny day. day. And so, he's, got, he's gonna pass out with the heat <laughs> soon. <laughs> Sorry, thanks very much. That's beautiful. That's a lovely gesture. That's really yeah. nice. That's really nice. And they were a team, I swear to God, I mean, and we slag off teams and maybe we're too critical at times, but uh, that Dublin foot, football team, gee, they played football. They were brilliant. They were absolutely so very, very nice. Absolutely, absolutely. None true. of them played tennis and superstars, uh, uh, no. but absolutely. And Pat, no, when, when this Kerry team wins the five in a row, we'll organise the six in a row when no. we send no, it. Down we'll here, right? no, we'll <laughs> One word before we before we go. Looking back at all those, you look like you were getting a, a little bit emotional. Is there one moment you remember in particular, or one player as a pundit you watched who, who stands out above the rest? Uh, one moment, no. I had I, I, look. I, the ultimate in life is to get paid for your profession, to be a soccer player or a, a singer or whatever like that. The next best thing in life is to be paid for talking about your hobby and talking about your passion. And I've been privileged over 30-something years to write about 
Gaelic games and to talk about Gaelic games in here with RT. It's been a wonderful roller coaster ride. There's been highs, there's been lows. And, and I thank RT for giving me the chance and sticking with me for 30 years and allowing me to be, and I suppose for the Irish people to be packed in their sitting room every Sunday night from during the championship. But it's been, no, it's been a great, a great time. Players, somebody asked me this earlier on and I, it's very difficult. It they said, don't pick, oh yeah, don't select the Kerry player. So I said, you know... <laughs> it's Peter Oman, It has to be, I think it was. I think Peter Canavan was, uh, of the 30 years that I was an analyst, that he was the superstar. He was real class. There was a lot of Kerry fellas, but I take up too much time. But thanks very much. That's lovely. Now we'll, we'll get to analyse the game, lads, and uh, <laughs> match, and hopefully Sam will be returning to Kerry. Now that would be the icing on the cake. <laughs>